Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is iBoot, iPhone source code being leaked. Today, somebody leaked the source code of some of the iOS bootloader software to many repositories on GitHub. And this can potentially be a big deal. This is probably one of the bigger source code leaks in history, and it has some significant security ramifications. Now, back in history, uh, some Windows 2000 source code was leaked. And when operating system source code leaks, the reason this has security ramifications is it could make it easier for researchers and attackers to find vulnerabilities in the software or the source code. And this can allow them to find new zero day that would have been much harder for them to find doing black box analysis. In this particular case with the iOS bootloader source code, the bootloader itself is one of the things that makes iOS so secure. It really has a secure boot process where it uses unique hardware-based uh, digital certificates to confirm that the firmware and the software it's loading throughout the boot process is all valid Apple sanctified software. Having the source code for the bootloader itself really gives the hackers a head start to finding any sort of issues with this particular secure boot process. So while there's no immediate uh, uh, emergency to this leaked source code, it could have potential security ramifications in the future for iOS. Now, by the way, Apple's been really fast to react to this. All the GitHub repositories that actually hosted this source code leak have been pulled down with DMCA or basically uh, copyrighted uh, uh, violation notices. So you can no longer get it at uh, official sources like GitHub. However, as you know with any information that shows up on the internet, once something's posted to the internet, it tends to live forever. There are many other places this source code has been shared lately. It's actually still relatively easy to get. So it still could have some of those issues and ramifications in the future. Now, as far as the practical takeaways here, I wouldn't really worry too much about it now, but do pay attention to iOS security news. It could be new vulnerabilities come out because of this, which means you're going to have to update iOS as fast as you can as soon as Apple releases any new updates. Anyways, just thought it was an interesting security-related leak. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.